transformation is about women as your subject. Yeah. Why only women? Well, I think women are much, much more expressive on canvas. There's so much more you can do with a woman, you know. There's so little you can paint with, in a man. There's so little expression. There is so little you can do with his attire. A woman is a much, much more interesting subject. She always has been. Why has she always inspired poets, artists, writers? There has to be a reason for it. And uh, it's just that it's just that I'm a woman, therefore I'm always asked, why do you only paint women? Had I been a man, it would have been taken for granted. Okay, she paints women, that's normal. What is your medium of painting? Like, uh, what do you use? Like, watercolor, canvas? I, no, this is all, I normally do oils on canvas. This is oil painting. I also do watercolors, but this particular exhibition is only oils. Could you please tell me the philosophy behind your painting? No, there is really no philosophy. You know, like I always say, I do not make any statement with my painting. My paintings are purely for visual appeal. They are the kind of paintings you, would, you can live for centuries with, you would not get bored. I mean, my buyers tell me that. They hang my paintings in the drawing rooms, in the bedrooms, where they can see them every single day. So if you want to make a statement, make it any other way. You don't necessarily have to make it through art. That is my philosophy. I am a writer as well. So when I want to make a statement, I do it through my writing, but not through my painting. Most of the paintings, they speak. Uh, I mean, you have taken as a rural background of it. Yeah. Why, why? Somewhere I, I have uh, lived in that kind of a setting. You know, not really lived, but um, though that this kind of an environment has been part of my life, you know. My, my parents lived in um, Gujarat, in Kandla, which is like Kutch. So there is a lot of uh, influence of Kutch in my paintings. I used to go there very often. Then after marriage, I, you know, it was a very traditional life that I led, where I used to cover my head and maybe even sit on the ground at times. So that is also somewhere in my subconscious and that is reflected in my work. But basically, I'm the urban Indian woman of today. So, it, this, the woman on my canvas is a combination of all these factors. Okay, and you have emphasized much on the attire, dress. You mean in this particular yes. exhibition? No, not necessarily. It's always been like this. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, in fact, I think this time I have done much more with the backgrounds. which used, Normally, I used to focus only on the woman and her eyes, her face, her beauty. This time, there is much more besides that the background, the clothes. Um, it's not just the woman, you know. It's the whole painting today, you know. That's the difference. Please tell me about the selection of the celebrities. Well. You have to name me first, who are those and why? You must have interviewed them too. You have. Okay. You know, when I uh, often, I used to sometimes think about my paintings and look at the woman on my canvas, I used to wonder if she was to come alive, would she have a counterpart, a living counterpart? And I started thinking on those lines and I started writing down names of women who I thought somewhere were a little like my paintings. And I realized that I had about 10 names and then I cut them down to about five because I, I, I needed a comfortable number that I could handle because they were all in big personalities. And, and I, you know, the, a, a bit of the woman that I could relate to, I, I got a reflection of her on my canvas. It's not, it's not a replica of her. It's just a reflection of her. So here this painting now is a combination of this particular woman, say it's Uma Gajapati Raju, and, uh, and something is like, it's my creation too. And this combination, according to me, makes the new Indian woman, the ideal Indian woman, according to me. I mean, the kind of woman who was considered ideal by Indian standards, that ideal doesn't exist anymore. Because that kind of woman nobody looks up to, nobody admires. To this kind of woman is what? gets admiration today. 
so i and you know and this these are the only kind of women i really can relate to you know so i had to do i had to paint those women who i could understand so the painting was done from the photographs or you have painted them no i had i had a whole lot of photographs of each woman so, and i just took bits and pieces of her and i made my own i mean the woman is basically still my own creation but somewhere she reflects this woman yeah okay the way you have the exhibition today yeah is it a part of installation installation yeah. what what kind of installation you connected with like an installation no the, way of the, the method which you have used i like don't the know the is there hmm. the portrait is there yeah so is it something like close to the installation no i don't get what you mean by installation the mode of the, the, the method which is being used in the painting no but i think i've had so many exhibitions till now i have zillions of buyers i don't need any installation it's always i'll tell you what i always do things differently i i cannot do things in the ordinary way i'm made like that so i mean like last year i had an exhibition in bombay which was called the changing face of indian beauty and i traced the evolution of beauty from devika rani to aishwarya rai and i did women from films and outside films and i showed how the look has changed over the years so i can never have an ordinary exhibition you know because the, it's so bland it's so boring everybody is doing that you know this is it i mean there's no i mean it's not no it's not that there is some great big idea behind this no it's just that i cannot do things ordinarily that's it okay.